Standing with me now is Mr. Courtney Gaines. He's in a couple of my childhood favorites, such as Children of the Corn and The Burbs. And he's also been in the more recent Faster and The Fun House Massacre. Yeah. So, and, and I just did a Criminal Minds, the uh, number four episode of the season uh, called Keeper. Uh, uh, and one of the best things I've done in a long time, so check it out. Okay. Well, thank you for being with Darkest Scott, Mr. Gaines. Uh, you have had over about over a hundred credits yes. in different movies. Now, what would you say has had the most impact on you or has been the most memorable? Yeesh, that's like picking your favorite child or something, right? That's not easy. Um, well, obviously, Children of the Quarren was one of the most impactful. Uh, I think that's pretty clear. Um, I gotta say one of the most amazing experiences was shooting Memphis Bell. Got to go to the UK for like three months. Uh, uh, we got there on the uh, 1st of July and on 4th of July, which obviously they don't celebrate there, we got to uh, fly in a real B-17. So that was pretty amazing experience. And just worked with you know, some phenomenal people. There was like four people on that set that had actually won Oscars. The DP had won an Oscar, the editor, the producer David Putnam had won an Oscar. So we were, it was just really like top notch. And I think most of the actors will attest that they've spent their career trying to find a better experience than that. It was pretty amazing. Awesome. Now, with all those credits, you've also done, it seems like, a few different genres. So, uh, do you have a, a genre that you've wanted to do or haven't done, or a favorite genre that you enjoy acting in? No, I mean, I think that's the cool thing, is that, is that you know, I have been able to do a number of genres, and I think maybe that's contributed to my, my longevity, you know, is that I, I, I can do comedy, I can do horror, I can do drama, you know, I, you know, all actors think they can do it all, maybe they can, but I think I've actually been able to sort of prove that. That was in the 80s, that was sort of my credo, was I wouldn't play the same thing twice, and I think that worked out pretty well for me in the long run. Oh, yeah, and... You know, to mention one of my favorites, The Burbs, yeah. you know, in that film we get to see you do comedy and horror right. at the same time. Which is why, yeah, that's like a very popular sale thing, here's The Burbs. A lot, a lot of Burbs fans came up this weekend, I'll tell you. And with your movies, let's talk about your music. You know, a lot of people don't know about your band Ripple Street yeah. and the stuff that you've done in music. So what can you tell us about that? Uh, yeah, you know, it's always been sort of my side gig. Um, so Ripple Street is, is, a, is a rock record. We just finished the record. It's a rock record. I guess 90s rock, I guess you could say. Um, it's a, Honestly, it's a breakup record. I was going through a breakup a few years back, and I just poured my heart and soul into this, you know, got it all out through a record, you know? Uh, but yeah, I like I like rock and roll, and blues. That kind of that's my kind of my thing, you know. All right, very cool. And uh, before we close it up here, uh, what would you say has been probably the most challenging thing in your career? Uh, I think all actors fake face typecasting. I don't care if you're a leading man, whatever. I think I think you face typecasting. So I think that's always the the toughest challenge is to try to open people's minds that you can do maybe more than they, they think you can. All right, well, thank you very much for joining us. Right and uh, everybody out there, definitely be sure and check out this film right here, The Fun House Massacre. I have seen it. It is full of blood, gore, and giggles. A very good combination with some horror icons in this film. So... Yes, it, it, it does not suck. Yes, it doesn't suck, especially since this guy is in it right here. So join us next time.